2 billion people across the world consume liquor. A small percentage of those fall into the category of excess. But whether you drink a little or you drink a lot, every drop of liquor tells a different story. Ding, 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 ding. Hello, this is Jim Leahy with another one of my exciting liquor stories. Today's drink comes from Scotland, where Highlanders and Lowlanders have been guzzling Bell Scotch whiskey for nigh on 200 years. It comes from a little town called Pitlockery, and that's where the old Pitlock came from. You think I'm making most of these names up, but I'm not. When you consider that Bell Scotch whiskey is distilled in a place called Blair's Asshole, it's a it's a blend of of the favorite Scotch whiskeys from all over Scotland, from 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 Glen Cockery to Lockdown, and and then a special malt is added that gives it its distinctive flavor. It's a smooth as the late from her suit, from her suit, summer fruit. And it's got a nutty taste too, with a soup song of ginger and almonds. You know, this little fucker sucker is the favorite drink of everybody in the United Kingdom, and why not? It, it's wonderful. It goes good with ice or without ice. It goes good with water or without ice. And you can eat it with fish and chips. You can eat it with quinoa or sushi. And it, it makes a perfect liquor ball sandwich for those cold winter mornings. Oh, there's nothing like, you know, every time I have a little sippy pool of bells, I, I remember the first time that I ever got in trouble. I mean, that I... It was way back a long time ago. It was the end of February. And my partner, Dom Dimwitty, God rest his soul, he gave me a bottle of Bells as a special commemorative present. You know, Bells he even goes good straight out of the bottle, too. He gave me a special commemorative present of a bottle of Bells to celebrate my 20 years in the force. I was a good cop back then. I stayed late that night and I was doing my paperwork. There's a shit blizzard blowing outside. By the time I finished and went over to my car, I discovered that someone had ice cream shit sundayed my windshield. So what did I do? I turned on my windshield faucet with hood. Eh? Shit weasel. It pissed in my fucking reservoir. It hit the ice cream and turned into rock solid piece of shit. I couldn't even scrape it off with my police badge. So I should have stayed there in the police station all night, but no. You know, we all have to live with our own circumcisions. I pinched a fucking squad car. And I started home in Sunnyvale. Sleet was that thick on the road, and you guessed it, I went right into this fucking snowbank about 20 feet high, ripped the CB area off so I couldn't call anybody, jammed me in the doors, I couldn't get out of the doors, I couldn't even run the engine because it would have been asphyxiated. And it was cold, it was cold as fucking penguin shit. So, what could I do? There's only one thing you can do. Well. Next morning, they pulled me in the car with the snowbank. I pissed myself and I was incoherent. And I got an internal discipline, which, to look at this horse square in the ass, was the beginning of the end of my career as a policeman. And I can't prove who ice cream shits under my windshield, but you know who it was, the same guy who's been of my lifetime fuckery. And Barbara wouldn't speak to me and she wouldn't sleep with me for fucking months. Wouldn't believe it would. And they put me on that. I, I was on the night shift. And I, I had to deal with pimples and hookers for a long time. But that, that's, that's when I met Randy. But that's another story. 
So, the moral of the story is just, if you're gonna scuzzle cotch, don't get caught in a shit blizzard. <laughs> this is Jim Lay signing off with another one of my exciting liquor stories. Wait. Did you get a close up of that? And cut. It's Jim Lee with another one of my exciting liquor stories. And this is something that you're gonna be really happy with. I'm gonna teach you something that's gonna impress all your friends and neighbors. Here's to you. Skull, Baker Jean. Uh, you gotta, when you skull, you gotta fucking drink your drink, Jim. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs>